before I begin this video, I just want to say that I got a pretty nice new camera, so I hope the quality of this video increases a little bit as I continue to add in more types of clips from a different perspective. Alright, so the first thing to know is that when you- Alright, so this is a test on the sound on my new GoPro, but... So today's video, we're gonna be talking about, you know, how to free range your chickens properly. It's often considered that free ranging is just impossible without loss, but that is not the actual fact. Because today I'm gonna show you a few proven ways to free range your chickens without having to worry about them getting into anything, or, or anything getting into their way. When you get your chickens out into their yard that you're gonna be starting their free range in, is that you're gonna need a fence. Because to do this properly, they're gonna need a base camp, basically. And so basically, let's just say this is the area that you chose that you're gonna set your chickens up in. They're, you're, setting their up, you're setting them up for success, so that way they get to know the general area. This is the area where they will feel most safe in, so make sure that they're there for, I don't know, a good week or two. So that way they get note of where they are supposed to be whenever they feel like they're in danger. So that way, when they're in this area, they have plenty of space that they can roam around. This is where you're gonna wanna put stuff like feed, water, um, general supplies, their nesting boxes. But don't be surprised if you find an egg somewhere out there, maybe. Now I wanted to film this part of the video up here, so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about, you know, having their area basically set up. So there's a couple ways that you can free range them with basically like the fence. So you can put them in a huge area that's fenced in. So example, let's just say this whole entire yard. I don't know if you can tell. It's just fenced in entirely. Uh, this entire area, this is completely fenced in. And yeah, you can just put your chickens there and you'll set them up for success. But their general area will still be over there. That's where they'll know. And during this time period, you can put your, you know, you can go to, uh, I don't know, like a Walmart and buy a game camera. Most of them are like $20, $30. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to set up a couple of them around the area. And you're going to spy on the local wildlife for, God, i got to say like about 48 hours. And then once this 48 hours is up, I don't know if you can tell, but that little black spot down there, that's a black opera marin chicken. Here, let me zoom in while I talk about this more. But what you see when we do this, like, uh, I can't do that. But you see, like, this will help you determine what type of wildlife there is there. So that way you can help take advantage. So that way you can determine if you want to actually be free ranging them in this area or if it's just a giant uh, misconception that you actually want to free range them in that area. So now before you free range them, also during this time, what you're going to want to do is you want to fence in areas that you want to keep your chickens away from. So I'm going to use the garden for example. Right now the fence is still a work in progress or a WIP and what we're going to do is we're going to be um, fencing in this entire area so that way if we ever decide we want to free range our pet flock of chickens right there, we can do so instantly. Basically, the garden, there's plants you don't want them get, to get into because they're either poisonous or they are of extremely high value. And they will literally destroy your garden in an instant. You see, this garden right here, this is protected from chickens as long as they stay in their yard. But for some reason, but there's an exploit up there that allows them to be out whenever they want, which is sort of a dangerous move. But you see, when you have chickens, you're accepting the risks that you're going to be possibly taking while having chickens. I should also take note of the local weed population that's there. So I'm going to show you tiger lilies because we have them over here. And there's any type of those. Like, it's not only the tiger lilies. Like, we have others. I just don't know where they are. So, the, so they're over here. I'm going to show you and talk about these stuff as you go around. So what I want you to do is I want you to go into backyardchickens.com, a website where you can, like, a website where you can get, um, free chicken information, you want to ask them what are some of the um, poisonous plants that you should keep away from your chickens. So let me show you what um, tiger lilies are. So they are these orange flowers. So you see them right over here? See these orange flowers in there? Those are tiger lilies right there. And those are plants that you should be keeping miles from your chickens. And when you see any of these plants, rip them out. Do this while they're still in their thing. So while they're still in their two week window, so that way when so way, they don't have a chance of growing back. A simple tip to keep the predators away from this stuff is to basically just keep this area. So keep it near the house, but don't like put it like directly at the house because if you have dogs, chances are you don't want them near your chickens because dogs are actually way more dangerous to chickens than you might think. Like sure, dogs are pretty cool and all, but yeah, I like dogs. They're pretty cool, but you see, when we have them, when you have chickens, uh, they actually are a pretty bad threat 
they're actually a pretty um, imminent threat to chickens and doing so will likely just cause a lot of like like mass loss in your chicken and this in your chicken flock and that's definitely a, a risk I would recommend you would take any day remember nothing is completely 100% guaranteed and by free ranging your chickens you're making them an open target for any sort of predators to come in and just remember if you're free ranging them over a huge distance there is a threat that a red tail hawk will come down and get them and if and there's if you're free ranging them into an area that could be near woods then there could be foxes bobcats coyotes i can go on all day listing these things now you see here's the thing about chickens they won't actually go that far they will usually stay within, and God knows, like 150 feet radius. They'll stay 150 feet radius of their coop. So that means that like they'll have their base yard and they'll have 150 feet around that, which unfortunately might include the road. So try to make sure that you measure out 150 feet well, so that way they aren't curious and decide to walk on the road. That is just my estimation, based, just based on how my farm flock performs but that is a risk that is worth taking if you're gonna be free ranging them. Free ranging them is a great way to open up to new territories and new experiences in several ways, but it's also a risk you're taking for poisoning and possible imminent predator attacks. They are so easy to just find nowadays, so chances are you just don't want them to be, chances are you just don't want them to be like that. So we easy way to just stop this is to keep them in a yard. That is my best recommendation, but most people start free ranging right from the get-go, and unfortunately that is going to cause a lot of loss. And if you're not suit for losses like that, don't free range chickens. That was about it that I had to offer for this video. I will go for, I'll shoot for 30 likes for part, th for part two, and yeah, I'll definitely be making more videos about chickens in my garden in the future, so yeah, stay tuned for that sort of stuff. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love